uh, I would say starting in college, there was a, a mentor of mine. His name is Paul Landrum, an older gentleman. He kind of helped guide me through through college because I, I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted. My dad's a doctor, so I thought I wanted to go to med school. I wasn't applying myself as much as I needed to. I didn't find a passion in it. And he helped guide me. He gave me books about business and finance to see if that's something that intrigued me. He sat me down. He gave me, um, like, we would do mock interviews. And he would make me go through the ringer, man. I remember I'd leave, like, crying in front of another man, in which we know could be perceived as a sign of weakness. I remember leaving there like, man, do I even want to talk to him? But he helped build me up. And, he, and I still have contact with him now. He's been such definitely a great mentor. Then my mentor in sports nutrition, her name is Stephanie Wilson. She is amazing. She brought me with her to the Toronto Blue Jays. She now has her own private practice. But she was the one that helped me through my journey. But she is someone, uh, I like to say, if you've worked with Stephanie Wilson, you wear a shirt that says, I've survived working with Stephanie Wilson. Because she is a very, that's why she's gotten to where she she is. She, she's very uh, attention to detail, making sure everything's right. There were times where I'd work from easily 4 a.m., one time till 2 a.m. at night waiting for a smoothie machine to be brought. And the smoothie machine people from 2 o'clock that afternoon were like, we're an hour away. And I'd call them every hour like, where are you? Where are you? And it wasn't until they got there at 2 a.m. And I had to sit there and wait because I remember telling her like, hey, they haven't come yet. She's like, well, you better sit there and wait until they come. And that night I, I was like in the facility. The alarm went off. They called the, the, the head person. He's like, what are you doing there? And I'm like, I'm waiting for the smoothie machine. I'm so sorry. They're like, what the heck is wrong with you, man? Like, get out of there. And I remember when I first started at that Blue Jays job, she's like, hey, you're going to give a talk today on carbs. And I'm like, I've only given a couple times when I was working at Florida. Like, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. She's like, do you have the presentation ready? Do you have the cutouts ready? Like, she, she listed all these things. I'm like, I'm not ready for this. I remember I had to go in the bathroom. I cried. And this was my, I think it was like my first or second week at the Blue Jays, crying in the bathroom. And I was like, wow. how am I going to get through this? Is this for me? Should I just quit? Because like she reamed me out. She was like, how do you not have all these things? What like, what did you expect you were going to do here? I remember her saying that to me and I just was like frozen. And she's like, oh, I'll, I'll figure it out. And I was like, whoa. So at that moment I left and I remember I was just like crying. And I, after that, I said, no, you're not going to let this bring you down, man. Like this isn't it because I, I, I could, we'll jump into my childhood in a moment. But like, I was like, this isn't it. This, this isn't going to break you. You're going to learn from this. So mm -hmm. I got up there right with her during her car presentation, and we did it together as a team, right? I was just selling myself short because I thought I wasn't ready for it. But mm -hmm. I knew I was. She wouldn't have brought me there if she thought I was some green behind the ears dietitian. She wouldn't have brought me to talk to professionals, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you work with these professional athletes, they try to get two different messages from you. Because they'd ask my, my director at the time, Stephanie, a question. They'd come uh, like an hour later and ask me a question to see if we'd answer the same way. And I only knew that because she told me, she's like, hey, did he just ask you about this? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, he just asked me that. They're testing us to see if we even have the same message or if we're going to try to deviate from each other.